everybody, it's your boy Jack here, and welcome to the 4 Minute Film Reviews. Today, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one film. That one film, which is actually nominated for a bunch of Oscars, uh, is, uh, is The Shape of Water. Um, I'm going to be breaking down it down into four different points, some that I like, some that I dislike. Each point is going to get a minute, therefore constituting a four-minute film review. So yeah, let's dive into it, but before we do, I want to remind you that this week is Oscars week on this channel. Um, I'm going to do... I, did seven videos, like this is one of seven videos that I'm going to be posting this week leading up to the Oscars. So yeah, that's about it. Let's dive into the first point here. Point number one, The Amphibian Man. So what I love about The Shape of Water is the fact that they use practical effects in this film and how well they use them. Obviously, for The Amphibian Man, aka like played by Doug Jones, he like um like they create this great suit that provides this really great silhouette for the actor and his ability to act through this and it's very great and he has such an innocent innocence within this um like within this suit itself uh also as well like i just love it because like it provides just such a great silhouette standing there whether it's like in black and white or like a shadow along with that the the paint job on this um on the suit it's like on the actual like appliances and everything it's just wonderful fun fact they uh apparently they used um like black light like paint so when a black light went over it, you could see different little paint designs and everything which i love um you get such a great like nostalgia moment with this um like creature because it really mimics a lot of different like um uh like creatures and everything and that's what i love about it there's such a great attention to detail about this creature and i love it as a movie nerd so let's move into point number two point number two the score in this film so what i really like about this like the score itself is that um it pulls from three main genre, like three main music genres. So you have um, fr like French music, um, jazz, and um, and like 1940, 1960 music, like music in that time zone. Because obviously that's where the films like. It, like that's a time zone that the film is in. What I love about this, um, these three, is that they blend uh, together so well. It's a very calming, like Frank Sinatra style, like, um, like music, and it's just really, really great because um, it really complements the film itself. You have those really, like, great moments that really tug your heartstrings and everything in this film, and the music just complements it so well. For me personally, I'll say that. Um, uh, like uh, Elsa, uh, Elsa's theme, which is like the theme like of the main character, is just a really great, beautiful theme itself. Um, I always whistle it some from time to time, just because it's like a really great score. Uh, so yeah. Point number three: It's not green; it's teal. So what I really like about Guillermo del Toro as a director is his attention to detail when it comes to color. Uh, in this film, The Shape of Water, he uses a lot of teal. Now, teal as a color really represents compassion, joy, and love. Um, and that's what I really like about this film is how they really use that. Um, teal, like, teal being a color, like, obviously that represents, like, joy and love, but it's also sort of representative of, like, water itself. The, um... And that's what I like about it is the attention to detail that um, Guillermo has is really great there because um, he puts it like the color teal is really plastered everywhere uh, in the army base itself. Uh, and teal is like it's sort of funny that like compassion and love is really where this relationship started in this space that was covered in teal itself. Especially even like um, uh, Liza's character is wearing teal herself. Point number four, it's an anticlimactic ending. So for me personally, the one thing that I didn't like about this film is the fact that there really wasn't any like big, like the ending itself wasn't great. I, I felt like it was it was sort of a boring ending to this movie itself. I would have loved to have this really big, great moment in the film, and I just would have loved to see such like a, like a bigger moment um, where like a lot of these events that these characters have gone through um, end in this really great epic way. And I just felt like 
it wasn't really a great epic way. Um, I felt like maybe they were, uh, like, they spent a lot of time really developing this love story, but they didn't really spend time building these characters up for this moment. Um, overall, like, that's what I didn't like about this film, is that they really, I would have wished that they spent more time building up the climax of the story itself, rather than building, like, building the love story itself. That being said, though, I do love the love story. Uh, but yeah, that's it. <sighs> So yeah, that is all four points there about the shape of water. Feel free to let me know what you think about the shape of water down below. Uh, let's have a conversation here, people. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the shape of water down below in the comments. Personally, I thought it was a good film. I really liked it. Um, but yeah, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more four-minute film reviews, if you are interested in comics, feel free to subscribe for comic content as well, as well as, like, subscription content. So yeah, like, subscription boxes and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jack Skinner. You have a good night. And thanks for watching a video in, like, that's a part of Oscars week. Bye!